Good evening to all. Today, let us discuss on the role of uh, supply chain and role of information chain and uh, supply chain integration. So, what is meant by uh, supply chain integration? So, first uh, we have to discuss on the supply chain coordination. So, the uh, coordination of supply chain processes through uh, the seamless flow of information up and down the supply chain. So, this we can link it with the um, push to push pull view of supply chain and also we can uh, uh, match it with the make to order and uh, make to buy uh, process. So uh, the material, uh, the raw flow of raw materials uh, from suppliers to consumers, uh, it will happen in both upstream and also in downstream. So in this process, there should be an effective coordination in the supply chain network. See, this is one of the case studies in uh, um, tomato uh, suppliers, that is in a ketchup, ketchup factory, how the cash flows are uh, um, incorporated or how the uh, cash flows are happening. So, this is one of the case study. So, in a ketchup factory, tomato suppliers, they are the first uh, uh, stage in the supply chain network of this ketchup uh, in factory. So, from the tomato suppliers, the tomatoes will be uh, fed into the tomato grading stations so that best quality tomatoes can be picked up to um, make it into a ketchup. So, after grading the tomatoes, it will be um, converted into tomato paste in the tomato paste factories. So, after that, it will be um, given to the ketchup factory uh, for packing and uh, so on. And it will be sent, if a final product, it will be sent to the retail uh, stores, distribution centers, and finally it will reach the consumers. So, here there is no, it is a food uh, product, so there is no uh, separate warehouse like for uh, any missionary, missionary equipments. So, here the information flows will uh, happen in both the ways like from the supplier to the consumer and also from the consumer to the supplier so this is uh, what i told this can be linked with full view of supply chain second thing the cash flows see in the aroma the cash flows will uh, happen only from consumer to supplier once if the uh, quality of the product is good the consumer will be satisfied and the cash flows will happen from consumer to the supplier how the upstream and downstream is a uh, separator is the upstream is from the supplier to the factory and the downstream is from factory to the customer so this is the uh, process of uh, cash flows in any supply chain management So, next one is the service provider. So, see in the first tier supplier, uh, the support process ha happens and uh, in the product provider also the support process happens. But there is a little uh, slight variation in this. So, new service, okay, new product development process and uh, business to business, customer relationship, customer retention, how the order is fulfilled. Uh, whether the lead time gap is minimum or not and uh, whether uh, any external suppliers are available to finish the products like um, uh, uh, subcontracting so uh, whether all these things are available or not so all these things uh, are given in a flow chart for any acm integration so post launch review is like this design analysis development and full launch so what is the meaning of the post launch review is any product after uh, handing it over into the consumer or customer's hand this post launch review will be done by all the industries so design uh, analysis what is being analyzed is whether the service or the product not profitable or not next uh, how what is to be developed is need to rethink the new offering or production process when, whether any new technology should be incorporated in the um, production process or not and then uh, again these uh, modifications will be carried out if there is any need based on the customer feedback then the full launch will happen this is the value analysis so what is meant by value analysis so the most important thing thing is 
uh, design collaboration that is early supplier involvement and pre-sourcing and negotiation so obtain an effective contract that meets the price quality and delivery requirements and there should be a competitive and a cooperative orientation within all the stages of uh, supply chain network supplier relationship process so how the supply relationship process uh, is being um, uh, balanced like uh, buying procurement uh, of uh, the service or material from the supplier in some cases e purchasing can be done and uh, information exchange rfid when we discussed regarding the logistics uh, services or logistics case studies we have discussed uh, about the radio frequency identification and uh, vendor managed inventories so these two things are uh, tracking methodologies which is used to track the product from uh, where it is available Next one is order fulfillment process. So customer demand planning and facilities collaboration. So how the order can be fulfilled is first thing is demand forecast, supply for supply planning based on the forecast of the demand. And uh, when we plan the supply, when the when any industry plans for the supply of the product, it should have a proper management in its inventory and how the planning and scheduling of the entire operations is taking place is also very essential to um take into consideration the next one is the resource planning and production the another most important thing is logistics that is ownership facility location and mode selection capacity and cross docking systems next to crm we have seen crm in detail uh, and how the crm is uh, linked with supply chain integration is uh, through marketing so crm uh, programs the identify identification attraction and building relationships with the customers and uh, through marketing also the customer relationship can be maintained in terms of e-commerce b2c systems business to consumer system and business to business systems some levers for improved supply chain performance or uh, some levers to induce the supply chain integration in a most effective manner is sharing data, collaborative activities, reduce replenishment lead times. So CPFR is there. So like that, uh, reducing uh, replenishment lead times, reducing the order lot sizes so that um, less number of uh, numbers can be kept in a single lot and uh, the quality inspection can be done further more effectively then narration uh, short supplies and use everyday low pricing edlp process should be adopted be cooperative and trustworthy so these things are to be followed or these things will happen these things will act as a lever for increasing the supply chain integration it continues like performance measures costs time quality and environmental impact also Next comes the performance measures. So, uh, just as a summary, we can tell any supply chain integration needs customer relationship, order fulfillment, and supply supplier relationship process to be in terms of process measures. This satisfies the complete supply chain integration for any manufacturing unit. So, this is another uh, example for uh, closed loop supply chain. Thanks a lot for. Uh, watching this video.